Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. It is raining in England, but it's below freezing, so it's snowing in England. It's January, the transfer period, and we have a couple new players on our team. You'll name them as we go, but uh, up front today we have, of course, John Green and John Green. There's one size fits Hall. He's wearing the captain's armband today because uh, I'm really proud of the way he's been playing, and also because one of you wrote a brilliant song about him. It goes like this. He's big, he's small, he's also short and tall. One size fits Hall. One size fits Hall. I hope he scores a lot so we can sing that song. I also have a new song about John Green and John Green, so hopefully that, uh, that, that matchup will happen. Today we're playing Coventry City and we shall beat them and humiliate them. Except that we started with a foul, which is an inauspicious beginning. Um, I'm going to tell you today about uh, my uh, more stories about my days working at Steak and Shake, specifically the story of how I ended up working with a murderer. I should add that I, I ate Steak and Shake yesterday, and um, a lot of people after they work at restaurants, they're like, "Oh boy, I would never eat there." That is not the case for me in Steak and Shake. I would eat there all the time. It's delicious, um, and I don't. Uh, I think that the food is generally very well prepared, and you know I don't have any issues with steak and shake at all. I think it's a you know perfectly good restaurant. Um, but I did work with a murderer there, but that wasn't steak and shake's fault. They didn't know that he was going to become a murderer, and neither did I. In fact, he was a you know perfectly nice guy. Um, he was always uh, very ambitious, and but you know it, uh, like a lot of it, it was a strange kind of ambition um, in this young man. You know, at the time I was. 19, I guess he was probably 22, and he used to always say, um, I aim to take over the world. Um, what did he say? I aim to take over the world, but if I only take over a planet, or, or if I only... I'm, I'm terrible at quoting this guy. I aim to take over the world, but if I only take over a state or even a city, that's enough for me. Um, and, you know, of course, Fat Lucas, that was an inappropriate time to come out. Um, so, uh, you know... Anyway, I never got the fe I never felt uncomfortable around him. I never got the feeling of violence around him. He would. Uh, we worked the graveyard shift, so like a lot of our friends would come in, and he had this one friend who had a, a tattoo of a burning skull on his uh, arm, and that always made me a little nervous. You know, just because I was like, I go to Kenyan College. I'm studying creative writing, um, but uh, it turns out that he ended up killing that very friend's um, stepfather with a with a hammer. Um, and then, um, then together, he and the, the friend burned the, burned the body. Um, so it was a very violent murder. And not, I mean, again, not something I would have anticipated from this guy at all. But, and I found out about it. This was about six months after, he stopped, after I stopped working at Steak and Shake. And I was in the bathtub because, you know, I like to take baths. I, I agree with Colin Singleton in An Abundance of Catherines when he says, why do something um, sitting down that can just as easily be done lying down? Uh, but... Anyway, I was, I was in the bath, and I was reading the local and state section of the Orlando Sentinel. There used to be these things called newspapers, and we would print the news on various, very thinly sliced trees. Crazy in retrospect. Um, seemed totally reasonable at the time, though. So uh, I was reading the local and state section of the Orlando Sentinel, and I was reading the story about a guy who had committed this heinous murder, and I looked at the picture, and it was Mike from Steak and Shake. And I was, I mean, you know, I was definitely shaken, just not because I, I was like, oh, it could have been me. It couldn't have been me. Um, you know, people very rarely kill, you know, strangers. Um, or, you know, he, he killed this guy for a very specific reason, um, which is that he was angry with him. Uh, and it was, it was an anger that had festered over a very long period of time and was about the, I guess, the abuse that his friend had suffered this guy's hands and other stuff. So, you know, I, it wasn't that. It was just the thought that, you know, someone um, who I'd known and didn't have any issues with was capable of something that I thought was sort of fundamentally, and I still think is fundamentally inhuman. Like, I, I still think that, um, you know, there's certainly, yeah, I still basically think that that's literally crazy. Um, by the way, we're in the FA Cup. Sorry, this is a bit of a downer of an episode of Hank Games. I mean, you guys were like, I come for the FIFA, not for the sad stories about murder. Um, we're in the FA Cup, and we are not, not winning, which is alarming, because we desperately need to win, because it's the FA Cup, and we can't afford to lose even one game, because it's lose and go home. And we need to win so that we can get to the finals, hopefully against Manchester United, and get back to Wembley and r avenge our terrible loss last season that humiliated my family. Um... It's hard to win in the snow. My team, we weren't built for snow. 
You know, one size fits all doesn't wake up in the morning and think, oh, I hope it snows today. Um, but anyway, uh, my point is that uh, to say that you don't know the people you you, uh, you spend time with is is obvious, um, but it's profoundly true, particularly in those relationships that are sort of casual relationships. Um, and uh, you 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 always hear that, like you always hear people say, "Ball John Green, he is a finisher." Hug him, hug him. Yeah, that's right. That's just John Green and John Green Nay Bennett together celebrating a beautiful goal. Look at that turn and then finish, right right in the middle of the pipes that's just that's how we drew it up in practice last night and suddenly swindon town are in the lead that's a dangerous dangerous place because we tend to win when we score first uh we've got a much stronger defense than we used to have thanks to uh, one size fits hall look at that great stuff great stuff and little leroy williamson gets a hug from one size fits hall and oh i have a mullet and i feel ashamed all right so, um, I guess in the second half, I'll continue to talk about this. But so I, the thing that the thing that struck me was that like he always he like he was he was one of those guys who always had had a plan, you know, like he was uh, going to start a tree service and he was going to do you know all kinds of different stuff and he always had a hustle. Oh, it's other John Green! Beautiful goal from other John Green. Now they have both scored partners in life and in love. It reminds me of a song. John Green's, John Green's, bald and other John Green's. They love each other and they love our team. John Green's, John Green's, bald and other John Green's. They're the best forwards that Swindon Town has ever seen. Great job, John Green's. We sing that for you when you both score in a game because we're proud. Oh. Um, someone in comments said, could you please stop it with the homoerotic innuendos about bald John Green and other John Green, but they aren't innuendos for the record. They're, they're married. So, you know, it's who they are. And goal! Hey, Chris, you can come in. What's up? You want to... He's asking if we have any double-A batteries. This is, you know... Uh, uh, do we? Do you want to come in and be help, help me on Hank games? Hank, do you have any double-A batteries? <laughs> uh, my, my, my co-office mate is here trying to find double-A batteries. <laughs> Um, will those work? Those are, are those triple A's? Oh yeah. Sorry. So uh, now I'm thinking, since we're talking about how I once worked with a murderer, now I'm beginning to worry that 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 Chris might be a murderer. <laughs> um, because Chris like comes in like creepily. Do you have any batteries? I can't give you any context. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I have a, I have an office here and, um, I have an office with my friend Chris and he has a, like a, you know, a proper business, not playing FIFA for a living. Um, ball John Green, no. Oh, anyway, that was a great goal that we got while Chris was here. Chris should always be here. He should, he should narrate this with me. Um, I think you guys, you guys have seen Chris in a couple of videos. He's been, he's been my best friend ever since I moved to Indianapolis. Oh, ball John Green. Oh, almost. That would have been um, a goal reminiscent of Steven Gerrard's goal in the 2005 Champions League final, just like a header from, from forever away. Come on, can we get the ball to Leroy Williamson, please? He, no, that's, that's Taylor Fletcher. But he knows. Oh, off the post. Devastating. Um, so, uh, you know, the, le the, lesson, the lesson from it is that, like, CSI would have you believe that, uh, that, that, that murder is, is primarily about evil. Um, and that evil is a thing that's, like, exterior to most of us, except there are a few people who are, like, conniving and their motives are always, you know, like, deep down, like, based in their evil. Um, but the truth is that, uh, the truth is that, that, that killing is, 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 you know, a complicated tragedy and crime is a complicated tragedy usually. And it's very rarely the kind of crime, oh no, that you see on, that was a bit of a foul. I'm going to say yellow card. Just, uh, that's a darker color than I would have preferred. That's one size fits all. Has to hand over the captain's armband because of an unnecessary slide tackle. Yikes. That's going to hurt our club's morale. Fortunately, we are up 3-0. And Fat Lucas made a great save. Good job, Fat Lucas. Down to 57 skill level, but, you know, still hanging in there. So, um, 
you know, like the kind of the kind of crime that that, that you see on on TV, where people are, um, you know, these like outlandishly good murderers. Just not very realistic. Fat Lucas, thank you. Um, you know, like that guy was caught three seconds after the murder. Basically, it wasn't planned. Like the vast majority of murders aren't, and. I don't know. It just seems to me a tragedy instead of being like a drama that makes for good television or even a good episode of Hank Games. The whole thing just seems to me tremendously tragic. Like that pass. What were you thinking? Oh, that's a disappointment. Um, so anyway, leave me, uh, leave me comments about what you want me to talk about in future episodes of Hank Games. I don't, uh, I don't have any more sad stories for you, so hopefully you'll, you'll be able to think of something funny. Um, and then, uh, oh, look, good job. I really, I, I like it when Leroy Williamson scores, but it's the only scores occasionally I've noticed. Um, so we're here in the 84th minute. Swindon Town, Swoodley Poopers up 3-0. Leroy Williamson bringing the ball down nicely, but then he is dispossessed. Dispossessed. We're going to pass. Um, oh, that's got to be a foul. Ball John Green doesn't go down like that unless it's a foul. Context is everything. Um, okay, there we go. Now to the now to ball, John Green, please. And now, 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 you're so strong. Show your strength. Dang it. Um, right. So leave you messages about what to talk about. We are pres we are we are moving forward in the FA Cup. I mean, obviously, we have a long way to go before I skipped some games. I played some games without without you guys, but we still have a long way to go before we are in the uh, FA Cup final back in Wembley trying to make our dreams come true. The dreams that were broken last year by our hated rivals, Manchester United. One last thing I'll say, um, I'm currently wearing a Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers t-shirt, and that is something that you will be able to wear soon, and of course all of the proceeds from that will go as, as all Swoodley Pooper related merch and, and efforts will always go, I think, to, um, uh, to reduce world suck leave, no. Um, but uh, it's not quite available yet. You got to give me till toward the end of the season. So goals from John Green, John Green, and John Green. Red card from one size fits all, who was big and small, also short and tall. And uh, but the boys are still celebrating. Other John Green with his bad haircut. Uh, Ramsden, who got the. Uh, yep, there's Leroy Williamson. That's great. Great stuff. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Well, I won't see you. Uh, best wishes.